Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be reviewing the Kim Kardashian Beauty Contour Kit. So, I mean, this is like literally all over YouTube. It's all over Instagram. Everybody wants to know what it's like. So I had to get it and I had to do a review for you guys to let you guys know like the real tea on what it is. Now, before I get started, let me just say that I am a huge Kim Kardashian fan. I love her. She can't do any wrong in my eyes. So she could have put her name on a lollipop and I would have still bought it. So first things first, I do not like the packaging. I just I just feel like I could have got a box. It was $48 for the contour kit and then with shipping it came up to $56. So for almost $60 I just felt like I should have got a box. That's just my whole thing about it. I just really wish that I had a box. I just feel like the packaging is okay but I'm just I just need a box. That's all I need. So it does come in this little sleeve. Everything is pretty much nude coloring uh, that's just kind of like her theme and then they come with this little card right here that explains about the product and like how to use it and then like a little message from Kim and then this is what the product looks like all right so this is what the dark contour stick looks like one side is darker than the other this side is darker and this side is a little bit lighter but this is what it looks like and as you guys can see that's not a lot of product but I mean it's whatever we'll just see how long we can use it but this is what the highlight stick looks like so on this side you guys can see that is the matte highlight and on this side is the shimmery highlight so here are the swatches of both take a while to get here like I ordered it I ordered it two weeks ago I think and I'm just now getting it so I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation on and my concealer under my eyes because that's what it says to do and then we'll come back and test it out so I have applied my foundation which I'm using the cover FX natural finish foundation and I'm in the shade G60 and then I also went in with concealer just under my eyes and I used the L'Oreal Pro Glow Concealer in the shade um, Sand Beige. So let's get into this thing. Now I'm going to be using the contour first. Now I'm going to use both shades. So I'm going to take the lighter side first and then go in with the darker side. Yeah, one. Yeah, so I'm taking contour side number one. And again, I got the dark contour kit. Alright, so I'm just starting creating the line right here. Ooh, all right, so as you guys saw, that thing is super pigmented. Okay, Kim. I'm taking the brush side and I'm just gonna blend this upward. I don't know if it's the brush or what, but I feel like the brush is taking longer than if I would have used like my regular contour brush. So on the other side, I think I'm going to use a different brush, but this is okay for right now. now. As you guys saw, it's pretty pigmented and it blended out pretty nicely. Like it's nice and creamy. So like this area. Then I'm going to go ahead and put some down here to cover up that double chin girl. <laughs> So I feel like the brush is making it hard to blend. So like the cream, like the product is blending out nicely, but the brush is like messing everything up. Honestly, I feel like, like it's not really blending stuff out. It's just kind of like moving it around, but not making it go into the skin. So just because I want to be extra, I'm going to be using the darker shade in the contour kit and just applying a little bit right here. Okay, so on the contour stick, the first shade is warmer than the second shade, if that makes sense. So, not necessarily darker, but just a little bit warmer. So, I do like the contour product so far. I just feel like using this brush to blend it out took forever. But then using this e.l.f. stippling brush, it blended out in like two seconds. So, again, using the first contour shade and applying it here on my forehead and then under my chin okay wait a minute like let's take a pause Do you guys see my face right now like this looks pretty good like okay Kim so to make everything look a little bit more natural I'm just gonna go in with my foundation brush and just kind of go over everything that way we don't look like we have like train tracks on our face <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose and try not to mess up <laughs> 
So I gotta be serious for this. how this looks girl so I'm just gonna use this brush and blend oh no oh okay wait a minute that's not gonna work <laughs> that's way too big I'm gonna use a smaller brush I'm gonna go ahead and say it I'm not here for this brush I think that it's super gimmicky and I don't know if you guys can see that but I have like hairs pulling like coming out of this brush so for 60 bucks man this brush needs to be popping and it's not popping so i'm not here for it and i just feel like it doesn't blur really blend anything out like it's cute to just throw in there so it looks like we got a little bit more for our money but girl this is not gonna work so i'm gonna try this side once i do my highlight so i did already apply concealer because it says to like they say you can use this as concealer but i don't know how i feel about putting this matte highlight under my eyes i just feel like it'll be a creasy mess so i am going to put it down the bridge of my nose my forehead chin area the top of my mouth and it's so creamy y'all and then not under my eyes directly but like in this area so like, what is this, like the top of the cheekbones? Now I'm gonna try to use the sponge, but I'm just not here for it already, but we're gonna see. So I'm just gonna take it and blend it on my forehead first. The nose. And then here so I'm just using tapping motion tapping so I'm just using tapping motions then I'm just going to take the matte highlight and put this under my contour just to be extra and then take that sponge and blend it out this is my first time ever using these contour kits and as you guys can see the matte highlight definitely has a dent in it and then the contour is like literally like a third gone so I will say for the amount of money you pay for like it's not gonna last you a long time especially if you use this every day so yeah, I'm gonna use the shimmery highlight and see what this does so I'm just going to apply this. I'm going to smile and apply this on like the tops of my cheekbones. So I know we're super zoomed in, but I want you guys to see what that shimmery highlight just did. Like it is definitely not going to work for my skin tone. It's kind of like a grayish tint to it. So I'm going to blend it out with my foundation brush and see like what it turns into. But I don't like that. It should be lighter in my opinion. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back to give you guys my final thoughts. All right guys, so I am back with the final verdict and I will say that I am here for the contour stick. So the contour stick was life. It was creamy, you guys saw that it blended out really well. It was dark enough for my skin tone, so I'm here for it. However, the highlighting stick, I could definitely do without. The matte highlight was not all that. I don't think that it did anything spectacular. The shimmery highlight was literally a joke. As you guys saw, it made my cheek look gray. I just feel like with the shimmery highlighter, she kind of missed the mark with that. The shades and the undertones of them were just really weird and I, I didn't like that at all. Um, this little brush thing is a joke. I think it's super, super gimmicky. It's not actually going to blend anything out. I think that she just included this in the kit so that way we look like we're getting more for our money. But, I mean, it was $48 with shipping about 60 bucks, So, that's pretty expensive, I'm not going to lie. However, it's Kim Kardashian. So, you're not necessarily paying for the makeup. You're paying for her name. So, like, what do you expect? I definitely think that the contour stick was nice. Like, it blended well. However, do I think that I will reuse this? Yes. Do I think that I would repurchase this? No. Um, if you skip that on this contour kit, I think you'll be okay. You're not going to die without it. Um... Hopefully Kim comes out with better stuff in her line. Definitely overpriced, but again, you're paying for Kim Kardashian's name. So it wasn't a complete fail. However, 
you know, I could have done without the brush and I could have done without the matte highlight and the shimmery highlight. So really, I paid $68 for a cream contour stick. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm here for Kim. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you tried this contour kit and what do you think of it and what shade you got because I would love to know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe on your way out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And we're done. Yep.